Thank you so much after Mr. Kınık and Ringmar. I'm going to tell one of the key points that how can we solve the problems that I have actually mentioned about the world. Um, I'm a linguist. My job is to make people from all parts of the country, from all parts of the professions, make them believe in themselves acquiring a new language apart from theirs. It could be English or French because I teach these two languages. And because I have discovered my own intellectual independence by loving languages. By making people love languages. My story begins in Anamur. It was a small town. It was 1990s, and it was somewhere in southern part of Turkey. Even it wasn't an official province, and the nearest official province was five hours of distance. We were living in a metropolitan city with my family when I was 13, and my little sister was only three. One summer, they always sent me to have a holiday with my grandma. My mom and dad called me and suddenly said that, Seda, we're going to move to another town from Istanbul. At that time, it had more than 10 million of population to a very small town having, let's say, 30,000 of people living there. And they said, don't worry, you're going to like there. I got shocked because I was 13 and my mom and dad were really working until late hours and they didn't even know that what I was doing in my room because um, at that time I felt the opportunities of a big city. I needed some kinds of better education in Istanbul because in my room until late hours, because I was a very lonely kid until my sister was born, I was making scientific experiments in my room, there was a cupboard, and under which I turned this cupboard uh, as mini science laboratory with the materials that I have learned on my science books. And I really was into making experiments. And at that time, when uh, somebody asked me what I was going to be when I grew up, my answer was, I'm going to be a science woman, or I'm going to be an astronaut. This was my answer. But as you see, I'm not an astronaut now, and I'm not a scientist. But I teach scientists. I teach doctors, and uh, I teach from all professions of the country. That town at that time, and I'm sure now, was full of really new things to discover throughout my life. Because I'm here to tell you why I have done this on my life. How I have become the only language charity organization's founder worldwide. And what I have learned. The first thing that I have learned there, not to complain. And as a teacher now, I hate complaining and I never listen any complaints by anybody. The first thing that I teach this to my students, Let's say that you hate clowns. So if you hate clowns, why do you go and why do you keep on going circus? Let's forget about complaints. I worked really like a hell for 15 years, more than 76,000 of hours by my private tutoring, more than 7,000 of students, 80 or sometimes really 100 hours per week. This creates the odds of success. Not my genetics, not my past, not where I was born, not where I grew up. This creates the odds of success. Do you consider a horse as unsuccessful if it cannot sing? Of course not. But if it cannot run, yeah then that horse becomes unsuccessful. Or do you consider a dog as unsuccessful because it cannot fly? 
Of course not. But if it cannot smell, it becomes then unsuccessful. Or as a person, you, do you consider yourself unsuccessful when you make some mistakes, when you face with some failures, when you face with some really big differences than you get used to? Of course not, because the real accomplishment is what you have survived after all your mistakes, after all your difficulties. Then how? How can we survive? We should survive, then we're gonna help the social issues that Mr. Kunuk and Ringmore has mentioned. At first, we shall survive in our inner world. In Anamur, for more than five years, I have discovered by seeing so many different things and by meeting so many different people, I have discovered this. The width of my life is really much more significant than the length of my life. When I first moved there, I didn't even understand the local people's Turkish. Many things were so new to me, but even the Turkish they were talking was so weird to me. For example, instead of saying hello, which means, you know, merhaba in Turkish, they were greeting and calling each other, Hoin! And I was looking what they were saying. Or instead of saying, hi, what's going on? Or how is it going on? In Turkish, we say, nasılsın, ne yapıyorsun? They were just saying, napan. I didn't even understand what they were talking about in Turkish, and it took a few months to understand. But these kinds of differences, different eating habits, different uh, working style, because there were no cinemas, no bookshops, no leisure centers. There were just strawberry and banana greenhouses and the sea. And there, I have learned this. The bits of your life is really much more significant than the length of your life. The more I have worked and the more I have faced with difficulties, all these have created my odds of success. And I have really faced with many opportunities too. How? How I have realized that there is an opportunity here, there and everywhere. At that time, when we first moved there, I unintentionally discovered, thanks to my father's radical decision, the more you go far from your nest, the more you learn how you could go, how far you could go in your life. This was a risk for him and for his family, because I had other dreams, and when I found myself there, I had to forget about complaints and try to find something to survive. When I was there for the first months, let's say, I was very far from my original nest. It was a risk for him and for me too. Everything is at risk, but not doing anything is a risk too. So, Having these kinds of risks teach you seeing that there are always some opportunities. But sometimes, and here there is a very young generation I see, whenever you find an opportunity, you want to burn it up for just temporary com comfort. But I have never burned my opportunities for a temporary comfort. I worked, really worked a lot. And I worked fast. I'm 38 years old. And my working hours was calculated one day and it was more than 76,000 of hours. I really work fast. But please be patient. Please be patient and don't burn your opportunities 
for just temporary comforts. Patience is second key. We have all ups and downs. It is impossible not to have these kinds of ups and downs in our lives. These are ups and downs, not complaints. And if you have not these ups and downs, what does it mean? It means you are dead. So, today, when I was a kid having so different um, dreams that I turned into my life into a very different way, another third significant thing I want to share with you. There, I learned how to help people. Because your greatness is not what you have. Why do you work? Why do you study? To have a better job and then why? To earn more money? If you have really an independent mind, intellectually independent mind, you realize that your greatness is not what you have. It is related what you give. Now, I want to share with you some memorable moments with my charity organization, SEEV. It is the only language charity organization worldwide that we teach voluntarily to children in need, countrywide, foreign languages. Of course, not only foreign languages. The first thing that I and all our volunteers, and so far we have taught more than 1,000 students another language, the first thing that we teach them and we make them love learning, not studying. As a teacher and as all volunteers all say, we teach children to love learning. Because if you learn, you get intellectually independent. If you study, you are limited. You never see the other opportunities or the survival points in your life. These are the dots, the blue dots. I see these is information. I never teach my students and I never give my students any information. This is the information just you have read in your books at schools. And you were asked to be successful in your exams. This is for studying, but having an intellectually independent mind only by having this, you can connect these blue dots to convert into a knowledge. That's why I make children love learning, to get them knowledge, not information, to get them away from their limits. You are how more than your genetics. If you take risk, if you never burn your opportunities for just com very temporary comforts, and this generation is really obsessed with looking accomplished, in especially social media, don't try to look successful. Be successful by not having information, but learning knowledge. Welcome equally all your ups and downs, otherwise you are dead. Be more human. We should work for some purpose much more significant than money, much more significant than materialistic things. Because if you want to have really an intellectually independent mind, you'll understand that wealth is not important. Much knowledge and to need less materialistic things. This is the key. And you should love learning, not studying. And for these 15 years, as I said, I was patient. Sometimes nobody celebrated me. Nobody made me complain about what I have done. I was patient. It's gonna happen to you. 
you are so young, and I'm sure that all of you will experience this. Nobody celebrates you. Nobody makes complaints you. Then celebrate yourself. Make complaints to yourself. This is encouragement. This is real encouragement. Is it up to you, other people, what they think about you, what they think about what you have done? Of course not. Real encouragement comes from your intellectually independent mind. And of course, as a linguist, while concluding my remarks, what will I say? Learn languages. This means different words, to know many differences, to welcome many differences. We can benefit from the power of wind. We can benefit from the power of sun. And we can benefit from seas, many natural resources that you have mentioned before. But if we learn to benefit from the value of intellectual independence, that day will be the day, as important as the day when the fire was discovered. I'm leaving the stage by hoping that your next months will be better than your past months by pursuing your own intellectual independence. Thank you.